Hey there guys, welcome back to our settlement in Daughter Man. So guys, there was a technical error where I carried on doing stuff for about 15 minutes without realising that my recording had stopped. I'd put a hotkey for when I was recording a different game as like uh, S to stop recording and then I'd completely forgotten that I need S to you know, move the screen around like that. Uh, schoolboy error, I know. So what you've missed out on is putting these huts in because I was getting to the population limit. Um, I've put in this palisade with uh, a couple of gates, uh, watchtowers and a gate there. Palisade all the way down. Um, moved that watchtower because that gate could only go there. Uh, put in another watchtower and then run the palisade along to there. Um, still while keeping an eye on the fact that I can't give them too much work to do. Um, sent them out hunting and to get a, a, a few more sheep and a couple of goats. Asked them to get pigs as well but they didn't seem to get any of them. Um, yeah, so I kind of want to get this palisade done um, before I go up to the Copper Age. So if the palisade is going to run, uh, there's going to be a gate there, so someone please get rid of this tree. And as well, I'll just quickly pop get them to make some sledges because no, I'm running down, running out on sledges. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure about where to take this this palisade. It's stopping there. I'd, I'd like to take it further up, but... Um, and you see, I've got my, my first rolling megalith. <coughs> but, you know, like I usually leave a, a central area in the camp so that I can put up a, a, a mono or what do you call it? Yeah, a mini or a stone circle. But this time I think the stone circle is going to have to be like outside of the camp. I'm not even sure about having it run straight because, you know, in the future I'm going to need at least a couple more stables, you know, maybe four more. So I think I might bring it around that field. <coughs> Maybe even take a little bit off this field and bring it down here. Have a gate over here. Uh, yeah, I'll just have to shuffle the haystacks about a little bit.
Yeah, he's put them up there. Probably get rid of this one and this one. And maybe move that one across to to this this corner. Well, the amount of space they take up. There, okay. Yeah, and that that will give me adequate space for for farming. Right, I'm going to need to be ready for some more housing in a minute. So I may even drop some of them down now. Right, so they've got all those done, those ones. So if I can empty that and recycle that one, recycle that one, empty that one and recycle that one, they should move all that straw to other, yeah, to the, to the other haystacks. I mean, they, they will take uh, some of it that they need into the uh, animal the stables so yeah so I've got a little bit of space there for a couple more granaries probably keep this whole area for funeral uh, doories because yeah and keep the trees round it But uh, I'm just looking now for a place to put my, put a, a mini, put a, yeah, mini, yeah. Uh, I generally like to have them in the middle of the settlement, but it's all kind of taken up. Maybe there, If maybe if I move that, let's get rid of that. and put that up in the middle of the camp. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. So yeah, now I should be able to run that up there. Yeah, to, to, to about there-ish. So as fortifications go, it's not too bad at the minute. Um, I'd like to put actually a a watchtower up here. Uh, it may just be a temporary measure. I might have to shuffle it about a bit. Yeah, but I think this area over here looks like it could be good for the, uh, what was I going to say, uh, the blacksmith and all that, but it is far from the, from the storage huts. So, if I get another storage hut down here, area,
and a rock pile and a wood pile and then designate that just for like the weapons that we or the tools that we make Alright, no food, tools, yes, materials, yes, clothes, no. <clears throat> Good job, guys. And, yeah, the rock pile... Yeah, it does, doesn't really matter, does it, at the moment? What goes in, what goes in there, and what doesn't? Oh, raiders are coming in. Nice that they've, uh, you know, decided to come in on my better fortified side. Yes, take that, you dirty devils. Excellent. Right, new human has joined. So I've still got space, which is good. And you know, uh, I've got you know space to to fill out a little bit more over this side, and I can put another another couple there. I don't want to. In fact, I'm not really happy about having those too close to that gate. But I think it's all quite squashed in on this one. <coughs> But yeah, I'm not going to get you know too too upset about uh, about it. Yeah, in this village, I'm, I'm quite liking the, the the look and the feel of it. Uh, I think it is time to do the necessary. Yes, we do want to proceed. Thank you, Mr. Trader, but we're all right. Copper smelting, copper age unlocked. So, yeah, donkeys, trees and cows and the donkey with the cart obviously so let's unlock that and that uh, we will have to yes defense yes um, right so let's pop down I say let's pop down mine all that's not right is it oh there we go so, copper mine.
Right, space for 15. We're looking good. Woolly Rhino's gone extinct and so has the Mammoth. I didn't get a chance to actually hunt any of them. That's not good. <coughs> Yeah, I, I missed out on that. I didn't get a chance to actually hunt them. It's because they were wandering so far off. Right, so we've got a copper mine. Yes. Yeah, they were wandering away so far so far away that that there just wasn't a, wasn't a chance to get... Uh, yeah, get, get to them, you know? Um, uh, right. I'll give it a while. Let some copper come in. They've got some buildings to repair anyway. So, what's that's going to be mud. That's going to be mud. Oh, that's going to be a log. We're going to start whooping through these trees now. Right, space for six more people, so I'm going to need to get another few houses down. Okay, and now I'm going to let it play for a little while. Right, copper tools in production. So in a little while, I should be able to stop the copper, uh, the, the flint stuff. Ah. And... Uh, I've just unlocked the um, the tree dubri. So I'm going to put some pear trees in there. And a, a nice big rack of nut trees going across there. Yeah, and then that will still leave me. So it said I've unlocked rye as well. Um, so I get a little rye field in there. So obviously when I clear out a few more of these trees, uh, you know, I'll have space to uh, to get more fields out if I need them, but like, across here also. So what's going on with the stuff then? So we've got a good amount of leather. That should go down pretty soon because uh, carts are being made now. Um. Oh, they're putting them houses up as well, which is great news. I really could do, I think, with another couple of transport posts. And I kind of like them over here. But it's just a difficult thing to put down. Yeah, without... Without them getting in the way. Right, 
Yeah, maybe just a couple there will do us okay. So that's enough for four over there. Another one in there. Yes, I, I must remember to investigate um, this mud collection because I'm sure there, there must be um, some kind of, you know, timing to the mud collection. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'd want to put a corner in there, but um, I want to run the fence from that side. Yes, yeah, so I really need to... Let's get that stone moved to here. And hopefully they'll use this bit first. So look, they've built five carts. Uh, I think my donkeys are all... young too probably too young at the minute for for pulling sledges so i've got space for 60 animals we are we are making copper tools now which is excellent And yeah, looking good. The way it is at the minute. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be enough progress for today. Uh, I'm going to let this run for a bit longer. Um, let them repair the things that need to be repaired. There's a few houses there that need to be done. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm just concerned. I need to get that stone out of the way so I can get my fence across. I may just put down just a little bit of palisading in where I know it's going to go. And get a gate in right raiders are coming in be prepared everyone so we've got five now and they're all coming in from the wrong side apart from that gentleman who obliged me by going across the bridge oh look, they just destroyed the tower Hey guys, feel free to attack. Attack that man. I think the last one just ran off. Uh, there he goes, he's over there. So, that'll do us enough for today. Once again, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you've been watching and you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It helped me out a lot. And stay tuned for the next episode. You all take care, guys.